On that specific day, I received a phone call from Amina stating that her sister was taking a longer than usual nap and she wasn't waking up. I could hear in the background that the sister was snoring, which is considered agonal breathing in the field, not adequate breathing at all. And listen to me, this is very important. Yes. Somebody needs to start CPR on her right now. All you have to do is put your palms in the center of her chest, push down hard and fast, just like how they do it on TV. I was actually in a mental shock, but my hands were moving based on how she was telling me on the phone how to perform it. But in my head, I'm looking at my sister, and when she, when Lauren was talking to me, I it was just her voice. My hands were moving. I, I saw it was almost like an out-of-body experience. Um, but as she was talking to me, I knew that this lady clearly knew what was going on that it was the right thing to do, and she was gonna help me through it. Keep going. This is what's gonna help her. You have to get all that blood moving. The engine just pulled up. The ambulance okay. will be right behind it, but don't stop until the firemen pull you off. The instructions that Lauren gave me, I know without a doubt, saved my sister's life. And I said, I'm gonna call into the 911 station and try to find this individual. A connection for two women, complete strangers, brought together by chance to save a life. It came completely full circle. With being a 911 operator, we just hear voices, we never see faces. So when I was able to, to meet her, to, to shake her hands, the hands that helped her sister live, it was such an overwhelming experience. I am now CPR certified and the reason I'm CPR certified is to ensure that I'm there to support my loved ones. And I just wanna thank all the selfless Lawrence out there that perform CPR over the phone, and now I can do it in person too.